This is the conga drum. This is the middle drum of three drums. The generic name is conga. Conga drum was developed in, on the island of Cuba back in the 40s when the hardware was actually put on. Before that, they were tacked on heads and nailed with just the skin over it and they would heat them up by fire to raise the pitch or the sound of the drum so it wouldn't sound flat and dead. To play this drum takes technique, style, form. Hand positioning and playing is part of that technique. Having your arms at a 90 degree angle, your hands placed like this so that the rim of the drum falls around the knuckle line of your hands. You will be stroking with this part of your hand to the drum like that. This is the hand positioning to get your sound. There will be other hand positions for slap, which is like this, bass, which is like that. Okay, so the first hand position is here. You notice that my wrist is straight and not like that. I lift my wrist and I would raise my hand from the wrist, not my arm. You want to relax the three points of the arm, the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. You'll be coming from here, not from here, not raising the arms. This is about technique and efficiency. <clears throat> keeping your hands close to the drum, keeping your hands in front of you, around the knuckle line. The hand, you will stroke from this part of your hand to get a tone. This is your basic hand position. Now this isn't for playing rhythms, this is the hand positioning for doing exercises and creating your sound, developing your sound. Notice how I stroke. I'm not coming down, I'm coming from out and down. Notice I'm not doing that. position.